a hot start in high school baseball between city rivals and plenty of offense and defense in girls softball. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone. I'm Gordon Spencer. You've come to the right place for high school sports highlights. We've got some good ones, including a coach's milestone in baseball, some great highlights of girls basketball and softball, but we begin with baseball and the Battle of the Hills. Davis Graff getting the start for Capo on the mound. James Showalter starting for the Diablos. Chris Ashback on the left. Skipper for the Diablos and Adam Sorgi on the right. Top of the first, Capo with a runner at third. One out for Matt Dobson. He cleans the bases. A two-run home run. And Capo leads it two to nothing. Bottom of the first. Bases loaded a couple of times in the inning for Mission Viejo. And the score is 2-1. And now... It's 2-2. Connor Deach singles in Will Burns to tie the score. Mission Viejo takes the lead on the double play turned by Capo. Nolan Casey scores 3-2 Mission Viejo. So two out for Michael Pollard. Squeezes on the, the bunt in the air. And McClellan scores. It's 4-2 Mission Viejo. Eight runs between the two. Teams in the first. Cole Deach doubles. Pollard scores. Jacob Hamble scores. It is 6 2 Mission Viejo. Capo finally out of the inning. Mason McDonald strikes out Will Burns, ending the first 6 2 Mission Viejo. Top of the second. Capo loads the bases. James Showalter strikes out Jackson Weir. Get out of the jam. Bottom of the second, two out. McDonald strikes out Jimmy Zakar to end the second. Bottom of the third, Michael Pollard at second. Jacob Hamble drops one in. That'll drive in a run. It's 7-2, Mission Viejo. One out now for Scotty Young. He lays down the bunt. The throw is wide. Campbell comes around to score. It's 8-2 Mission Viejo. Bases now loaded for the Diablos. Cade McClellan, the RBI single. Scotty Young scores. 9-2 Mission Viejo. That was plenty. All they needed. And the final score from Mission Viejo, 9-4. Scotty Young, 3-for-3 three three with two runs. James Showalter improves to four and two. It's San Juan Hills visiting Tribuco Hills. Brett Levere, the coach for San Juan Hills on the right, and longtime coach Michael Burns there on the left for the Mustangs. Top of the first, first and third, nobody out. William Gleed gets the single. Jack Finnegan scores one nothing. San Juan Hills, second and third. Chris Landis. And the throw home... And they're going to get him. Jake Curtis out. There's two down now. But San Juan Hills keeps pouring it on. First and second, two out. Chris Marquis. William Gleed scores on the RBI single. It's two to nothing, San Juan Hills. Then Eli Voris to the left side. It's through. Another single. Another run. Chris Landis makes it three to nothing, San Juan Hills. All the damage done with two outs. Then it's David Lee. Up the middle. Chris Marquis scores. It is four to nothing. Stallions. Second and third. Thomas Christ. And two runs will score on that play. Voris. Lee. Six to nothing. San Juan Hills. Bottom of the first two on two out for Tribuco Hills. And Tanner Duke gets the strikeout. Keeping Tribuco Hills off the board. Bottom of the second, Tribuco Hills with two runners in scoring position. Jake Curtis 
in foul ground, gets the catch. Nice defensive play there. Bottom of the third, Trebico Hills finally breaks through. First and second, one out. Mason Molina. That one's going to hit the fence. Garrett Stringer coming around. He'll score 6-1 San Juan Hills. Then some defense by Tribuco Hills in the top of the inning. The 4-6-3 to six to three double play to get out of the inning. Bottom of the fourth, Tribuco Hills drew Barrett the double. And Brian Ramirez rounding third. He will score. Tribuco Hills down 6-2. Then Tribuco Hills, Danny Suarez. The strikeout. Keeping Tribuco Hills around. Bottom of the fifth. Joey Gray. Hoo-ha. Home run. That hits the yellow on the top of the fence. That is a home run. And Tribuco Hills now down 6-3. Second and third. Nobody out. Nick Perez. And the score on the bunt at 6-4. Bunting up the first baseline. First and third. Why not do it again? It worked once. It works again. Tyler Collins scores. 6-5. Tribuco Hills down. Tying run at third. San Juan Hills reliever Mitchell Farner, though. Big strikeout of of Barrett. Top of the seventh. San Juan Hills gets some breathing room. Bases loaded. Chris Landis, the RBI double. Two runs will score. Curtis and Glee make it an 8-5 San Juan Hills lead. Tribuco Hills now with a tying run at the plate. Two out. And San Juan Hills gets the grounder. And that ends the game. A thriller at Tribuco Hills after a big lead. For San Juan Hills, early in the game, Tribuco Hills chips away. But San Juan Hills with those two late runs to win it by a final score of 8-5. Mesa Molina, 3-4 for with two doubles for Tribuco Hills. Well, congratulations to Chris Ashback. Win number 400 at Mission Viejo. Coach, I know I bring you luck when I'm there, but it looks like you're doing just fine without me. We're going to step aside, take a break. When we come back, it's the girls' turn on South County Sports Zone. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. Sports starting to wrap things up, which means final home games for some athletes, which means senior day. We begin with softball. Senior Day over at Dana Hills High School, honoring those that will graduate. Elisa Niguel trying to do everything they can to spoil Senior Day. Top of the first, Elisa Niguel's Victoria Griffith stealing second. Ball gets away. She goes to third, and she's set up for Taylor Nelson. And Nelson delivers a base hit up the middle, the RBI single. It's one to nothing, Elisa Niguel. Bottom of the first, Dana Hills first and second, nobody out. Piper Tago drops one to the fence. That'll double in two, Casey Palmer. Cassidy Learham score, 2-1, Dana Hills. And Elisa Miguel gets the double play, the first two outs of the inning to shut down the rally. Then Alex Cowett does the rush. She strikes out Hannah Jones to end the inning. Top of the third, two out. Runner at second for Elisa Miguel's Chloe Lesko. And Lesko launches one. That'll drive in a run. She's going to try to score, and she is out. Elisa Miguel though, ties it at two. Bottom of the third. Good defense by uh, Elisa Miguel catcher Audrey Altafish. Getting the foul out to end the inning. 
Bottom of the fourth, Alex Cowett strikes out Isabel Lamas to end the inning. Top of the fifth, Elisa Miguel's Victoria Griffith. She sends one deep. That one will roll against the fence for the triple. And she is in safely. Big hit by number one. And then it's Taylor Nelson delivering. Again, up the middle, RBI. Lisa Niguel takes a 3-2 lead. Top of the fifth, new pitcher for Dana Hills, Casey Palmer. With one out. And two more runs coming in for Elisa Niguel. Nelson and Lesko score. It's 5-2 Elisa Niguel. And then great defense in left field by the Wolverines. The great catch. Everything coming together for Elisa Niguel. Top of the seventh. One out. Bases loaded. And two more runs driven in for Elisa Niguel. And they lead it by a score of 7-2. Hits keep coming. Victoria Griffith down the line. Drives in two more Wolverines. And Elisa Niguel really pours it on at the end of this game and gets the win at Dana Hills by a final score of 9-2. Another senior night. It's El Toro Tribuco Hills girls basketball. And El Toro trying to ruin senior night for Tribuco Hills. The Mustangs trying to have a good showing at home. First quarter, Maela Ebel to Myla Cubacub, the three, 9-1 El Toro. Then El Toro's Evil assist again, this time to Sam Lynn. She goes deep. It's 14-1 El Toro. Tribuco Hill's trying to get the offense going. Good ball movement. Ashlyn Kinnett, the two. 14-6 El Toro after one. Second quarter, a 9-3 run for Tribuco Hills. Isabel Carrito banks it in. Tribuco Hills down 17-10. Then good Tribuco Hills defense. Ava Patton wrestles it away, knocks it down, but they can't convert on the other end. El Toro trying to pour it on here. Sophomore Emerly Bradshaw, 22-10 El Toro. 7-1 run for El Toro. Naima waits. She will wait for it under the basket. She's patient. She gets two. 24-11 El Toro at the half. What a Great season for the Chargers and a good, impressive first half. Third quarter, more El Toro. Bradshaw, she waits, she gets it. 26-11, Chargers. Then El Toro's Jenna Quigley. She waits outside and gets the three. 33-14, El Toro. Chubico Hills' Kelly Matsuda looking to get the Mustangs back. She hits the long ball, but they're down 19. Fourth quarter, Isabel Carrito getting physical for Tribuco Hills, making some room, getting the bucket, giving the stare. And then Ava Patton. She's waiting underneath. She gets it to go. 37-21 El Toro. All chargers in this one. Jenna Quigley. She led them all, and El Toro rolls from start to finish, 43-29. The final score, Quigley with 15, two of those three-pointers. Great season for El Toro girls basketball, now 7-3 and three in league. Well, that's going to do it for us here at South County Sports Zone. Thanks for watching. For all of the episodes, you can log on to cityofmissionviejo.org slash mvtv or cityofalisoviejo.com. Thanks for watching. As always, it's been a thrill. I'm Gordon Spencer.